officially two weeks away from my first international competition. This has been a great training camp so far, very well balanced, not too extreme at all, not too emotionally charged, but very methodically and logically executed. And it may not have been perfect, but then when is it ever perfect, you know? The goal with all of these training camps and this year, I have had three eight-week camps where I have prepared for competitions and then in the first camp I could not compete because I did a pre-competition competition and I got injured in that. That was supposed to be my first international competition in Thailand. But I couldn't compete in it because of the injury. But I went through the camp anyway. I got the job. I mean, I did the work. I put in the work. Then there was the second camp, which was AJP. That was pretty nice. There were mistakes made in that camp. Things that I should have done, but I didn't do. Things that I did do well. Um, and I trained hard. And the result was what it was. I was on the podium. I was. Uh, I got the silver medal. Lost in the finals. And then. This is the third time I'm, I've put myself through an entire eight-week camp. This camp, by far, has been the best of the three. The goal with all of these camps is always to do a little bit better and not make the mistakes that I did in the last camp. So, the idea is to basically have all these little chinks and all of these little uh, details figured out by the time I am fighting in the professional division. the chinks in the armor so to speak is my nutrition strategy or the lack thereof i have not had a nutrition strategy so far because i've been blessed with a good you know just just a good healthy relationship with food you know i i i, I am a foodie i like to eat a lot the problem becomes that sometimes i tend to eat outside quite a lot so although i have like a general idea of how much i'm eating what i'm eating and i try to keep it clean but there's really no focus or intention behind the kind of food that i'm eating other than the fact that i want to kind of fuel my training and my recovery and everything so this time that's something that i'm focusing on that's one of the major focuses of this camp i have two weeks left till the competition and i'm going to implement a nutrition strategy this time around which i'm going to talk about and guys first meal of the day after my not so intense training session is an amazing bowl of overnight oats i want to talk a little bit about everything that is in there usually people do protein oats but since i do eggs with my breakfast i don't need to do protein oats because i'm getting my protein from the egg so this is just oats there's uh, there's obviously milk in it there's oats that have been soaked overnight in the milk there are lot of lot of dry fruits in it dates some honey and cocoa powder so this is an amazing uh, i like i i like chocolate desserty tasting foods and drinks this is one of my this is going to be one of my go tos in the coming two weeks in the prep so right now i'm doing a bowl of oats after this i'm going to eat three eggs and that's going to be a big breakfast for me right now and uh, i'm cycling all of the carbs around my workouts so pre workout was just an orange that's it right second workout of the day is at 4 pm but right now i got to get ready and then head to work today is a monday on learn how to train online classes mondays are for theoretical uh, topics so i'm going to put in two hours of, of deep work preparing the material for the class and uh, sip on some nice kombucha i'm also doing a coffee detox because uh, my just just my anxiety is like at an all time high so i feel like i need to just decaffeinate for a little bit so you know just improve the sleep and everything so i'm going to put in the two hours of deep work sip on some nice kombucha low calorie kombucha and uh, 
then after the material is prepared i'm going to come back home have lunch lunch is going to be completely proteins and fats that's it no carbs all of my carbs is going to be cycled around the workouts and then it's going to be time to train again so pre workout meal for the training is again going to be a little bit of carbs post workout is going to be carb heavy but dinner we again close out with just just pure protein pure fats that's it so let's get into the day let's see how this goes from home again time to go to work put in a couple of deep so the only change that i made was instead of eating the eggs for breakfast i switched it out with a protein shake because looks like i'm going to be having some chicken for lunch so maybe i'm going to shift shift the eggs along with the chicken towards lunch so i had a protein shake just now now i'm heading to work and let's get the work day started This is literally me day one. Half a day has elapsed since starting this nutrition strategy where I'm avoiding carbohydrates as much as I can and only eating them around training. Right now it is lunch time. I'm nowhere near training. Training is still a few hours away. So I've got no, I've got no, no business eating carbs right now. If I have time to go according to the plan, but this sucks. I I I just I can not stop thinking about uh all the carby things that I would like to eat right now I and mean, drink a glass of lassi eat some bread maybe even some rice but this tells me that there's just the fact that I'm feeling this deprived means I'm on the correct path this means that some great change is going to emerge in the next 3 weeks and we're going to get it done so it is what it is right now it's 2 pm i'm going to eat a big portion of paneer three eggs some a uh, little bit of uh, a little egg dish that my mom has made some veggies and uh, that's going to be lunch and then we take the 3 pm learn how to train class and then get ready for training before training i'm excited about eating some fruits who would have would have thought that in one day this would turn me into somebody that's excited about eating fruits let's go okay so it's time for the second training session of the day and the pre workout meal is going to be some collagen water along with one mosami a lot of lot of pomegranates so this is my pre workout now i'm going to go teach a class and after that train myself come back and have the post workout of the post workout meal so pretty much all of my carbs for the day as you've seen are cycled around the workouts and all of the other meals are just fats and proteins this is pretty much how i'm going to keep it for the next week and i also want to see at the end of today how many calories these amount amount to so that i know whether i need to take up the total calories or not because the idea is to reduce the carbs but still keep the calories the same so that i don't feel any energy deficit this is the protein check I 
finished off so the last two meals for the day was the post workout protein shake it was a heavy shake and a little bit after that also i had a magnesium glycinate supplement with the protein shake which is kicking in right now but after that i had a dinner dinner was very light low carbs just like 100 120 grams of rice and and a katori of dal that's pretty much it so i've put in all the calories on healthify me the damage for today is 2500 around 2600 calories so this is basically why i don't like to follow a standard plan and i like to start from where i am at and then see what changes i need to make because now i know that if i'm sitting at 2500 calories my proteins are pretty solid my carbs are there and my fats are you know where i want them to be now i know what changes to make first to simply increase the protein a little bit and to increase the overall calories a little bit all i literally need to do is just add 3 eggs to my uh, eat you know nutrition tomorrow to all the meals that i'm eating tomorrow and that should do the trick right and then and now i can incrementally decrease the carbohydrates from where they are because now i know where the carbs are coming from and then increase the fats as well 